sometimes the thing that you need to improve your intonation is a little boost of confidence. So here are three things to improve your intonation that you have probably never heard anywhere else. Number one, believe in yourself. You probably know more than you think you do, especially if you have been playing for a while. It's all in there. All the knowledge, all the sounds, all the stuff that you need to have great intonation. I mean, look, most of the music we play is beautiful melodies, right? There is the occasional atonal, bounce around, modern piece, but let's face it, 99% of what we play, you can sing in the shower. You know how this music goes. You know what a beautiful sound is. You know this stuff. It's just time you start believing that you know. Number two, learn to assess your playing accurately. In other words, learn to compliment yourself. I say to you now, because I say this often, there is nothing intelligent, nothing impressive about just saying everything is bad. We think it makes us sound smart or makes others feel better about our abilities to judge good and bad playing. And we say it to impress them. Or maybe we really just don't have the self-esteem to say something else. In any case, it will never make you a better musician or a better cellist. The only way to get better is to accurately point out what went wrong and what went right. If you don't, how do you know what to fix or how to fix it and how do you learn to play with confidence? If it's all bad, how do you move forward? You have to separate the good from the bad. It's the only way. You have to learn to compliment yourself on the things that go well. If you struggle with this one, make sure you are surrounding yourself with musicians you trust, and when they tell you you did a good job, start believing them. Number three, learn to relax as you move. In other words, tell yourself you can do this stuff and learn to land <laughs> relaxed. When we aren't confident and constantly worried about our intonation, we end up very tensed and all that tension creates a lot of inconsistency in the way we move. It's very difficult to stay tensed up, actually. It takes a lot of energy, and so your body moves with that tension differently every time. There is no way to learn or build up knowledge with such inconsistency. So do your best to feel good about what you are doing and relax. Take a deep breath and let it go. I could stand to follow my own advice. And if you have been playing this way for a while, there will be some forms of tension that you aren't even aware of. You will have to be laser focused in proactively changing these habits. That is why I mention this as something by itself. You will have to deal with it one on one. To get some help dealing with it, make sure you check out this playlist where I have all sorts of videos on this topic.